Hi, Dr. Hod. Yo. Can you rank these workout supplements for me? Yeah, of course, man. Got you. Whey protein. So, whey protein is a 10 out of 10. It has the highest concentration of leucine, which is the anabolic trigger for muscle protein synthesis. You need 2.5 grams of leucine to hit that trigger, and you only need about 25 grams of whey protein to get to that 2.5 grams of leucine. Vegan protein. So vegan protein, depending on the type, would be 8.5, and the reason for that is because you need slightly more vegan protein to hit that same anabolic threshold. So if you need 25 grams of whey protein to hit it, you would need about 35 grams of vegan protein to hit it. So basically just a bigger scoop, it's just that you do need more of it to hit that anabolic trigger of 2.5 grams of leucine per serving. Creatine. Creatine monohydrate would be a 10 out of 10. It's probably one of the most studied workout supplements that there is. Decades of research showing improvements in athletic performance, strength, endurance, etc. Now we have studies that show improvements in cognitive benefits as well. The alternatives are less studied, like creatine HCL or creatine ethyl ester. Some studies show actually they're not as good as creatine monohydrate. I would give them like a four or a five. However, if somebody does have issues with tolerating creatine monohydrate, having gut issues or bloating, you can try creatine HCL as an alternative. And for some people, it does fix the issue. Glutamine. Glutamine is a three. It's been really shown to be beneficial in repairing the gut barrier, intestinal permeability issues. And leaky gut syndrome, it can help to repair those because the enterocytes use glutamine as a primary source of fuel. So it's good for gut health, but for the purpose of athletic performance and recovery, I would give it a three at best. Branch chain amino acids. Branch chain amino acids, I love them. They're a nine. The reason I give them a nine is because they're usually about 50% leucine, which means you only need about five grams of BCAAs generally to hit that 2.5 grams of leucine threshold to activate muscle protein synthesis. Essential amino acids. Essential amino acids are even better. They're a 10 out of 10 because they have all of your essential amino acids that you need to build protein. Beta alanine. So, ooh, for beta alanine, I would give it a five. The reason I give it a five is because it causes this really intense tingling sensation for me, so I can't really use it. Very uncomfortable. Some people like that sensation. They say it helps them give them an itch to work out, like literally and figuratively. And the other problem with beta alanine is you need to take it for about 10 to 14 days straight to really get that advantage. And the advantage is in anaerobic activity, and so it would help with HIIT training, zone five or high intensity training. You might get an edge in athletic performance in that standpoint, but you have to take it at about three to six grams daily for about 10 to 14 14 days to see that benefit. So if it's working for you and if you don't mind that sensation, more power to you. Caffeinated pre-workouts. So caffeinated pre-workouts, good one. So this would get a six, a really good thing to do before 1 p.m. But if you can, maybe substitute a non-stim pre-workout after 1 p.m. so that you get the benefits of the pre-workout, but you're not getting the negative effect of it disrupting your sleep where now it's going to be an issue with muscular recovery. Thanks, man. You're the best. Anytime, bro. Happy to help.